Hello and welcome to this CBT Nuggets product on Microsoft Exam 70-685 Pro Windows 7 Enterprise Desktop Support Technician. My name is Tim Warner and I'm happy and grateful to be your instructor. Our agenda for this introductory nugget is as follows. I'm going to explain what went into the creation of this series, not giving you all the pedagogical trainer mumbo jumbo that only other trainers would be interested in, but I'm going to show you how this affects you, the student, in your practical goal of passing the 685 exam. We'll then spend some time looking at DST, Desktop Support Technician, certification, specifically focusing, obviously, on Microsoft. And then we'll finish by looking at the 7685 exam in particular and I'll give you some helpful tips and tricks along those lines. About this series, whenever I put together a series for CBT Nuggets, the very first thing I do, besides taking the actual exam of course, is to visit the vendor's website and study the content outline for that exam. And what you see on this whiteboard is a run of all 19 nuggets that comprise this series. And if you do go to Microsoft.com slash learning and dig up the 7685 exam prep page, you should see a striking similarity in terms of those stated content areas on the exam and these nugget titles. I always am very careful to give 100% coverage to the stated exam objectives. My goal as your instructor is twofold. Number one, obviously I want to help you pass the exam, preferably with flying colors. And number two, I also want to give you real, applicable, practical content knowledge. I understand that not every customer is an exam candidate. Some folks simply want some practical where the rubber meets the road skills and instruction on the subject matter. Therefore, I'm going to include both of these groups, obviously there's overlap there anyway, as we conduct the series. Now, we're on Nugget 1, the overview of course. We're going to dive right in after this nugget by looking at new software installation issues and then software configuration, software failure. You see there's a lot on managing software. If you've done work as a desktop support technician, that should be a familiar refrain because managing software is a huge part of the desktop support tech's role. We'll look at some network stuff as well, again, quite a bit. Troubleshooting logon, identifying and resolving network connectivity issues. We'll look at DNS and how name resolution factors in with users' network problems. Network printing, again, this is all daily practice for a Microsoft desktop support technician. We're going to deal with troubleshooting performance. Some users are never satisfied, it seems, with the speed of their system or the network. How do we put some actual numbers and metrics behind those claims of, my system is so slow? We'll then look at resolving hardware failures. We'll look at wireless connectivity, issues with that, remote access, Internet Explorer 8. That's a whole kettle of fish right there, actually. Resolving issues due to malicious software. Again, a very applicable and appropriate topic for a desktop support tech, encryption issues, and then finally software update. As a whole, this skill set is really nicely put together by Microsoft. When you think about it, they're experts at desktop support because they wind up supporting their software every business day. Now let's have a look at the confusing, to put it bluntly, world of Microsoft Desktop Support Technician Certification. You're going to see a sea of acronyms here. We have MCDST and MCITP. Now I'm going to assume you're not expert with what all of these acronyms mean. Let me explain. You'll note here that MCDST is a legacy title. You, you're obviously not interested in that, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this Nugget series. The MCDST stands for Microsoft Certified Desktop Support Technician. You have to pass two exams to earn this, 70-271 and 272. You'll note over here I've given you kind of the pattern as we go forward in editions of the Microsoft Client OS. MCDST MCDST is your Windows XP and Office 2003 support credential. 271 deals almost exclusively with Windows XP support. 272 deals with managing applications, in particular Office 2003. Nowadays, or at least moving forward beyond Windows XP, we have this credential called the Microsoft Certified IT Professional, MCITP. MCITP
ITP is actually a balloon or umbrella credential because you can earn an ITP in several different Microsoft areas of expertise slash technologies. In point of fact, in Windows XP and Windows Server 2003, the top tier credential is, I'm sure you know, the Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer or MCSE. Nowadays, that is to say, as of Windows Server 2008, MCSE has been supplanted by not one but two flavors of the MCITP title. So this is going to take a while, I think, for human resources folks, for experienced IT managers to make that transition in their mind. Normally, if you think top tier IT pro credential, it's MCSE, but that's gradually going away and moving towards this MCITP. Now, in terms of desktop support, at the Vista level, there were two flavors, or I should say there are two flavors of the ITP. There's consumer support and enterprise support technician. And you'll notice there's some overlap here. You can do 271, which kind of is an upgrade path, assuming that you're already a DST, you can become an MCITP consumer support in Vista by passing just a single Vista exam, 623. If you're going to go for the title from scratch, you would do two Vista support exams, 620 and 623. The enterprise support technician also requires the 620 Vista exam and requires 622, a pro level test. So much for that. Our focus really is the current generation of the title for Windows 7, and I think because there are so many MCITP support titles floating around, you'll notice that Microsoft has taken to adding seven to these current titles. You'll note that we have MCITP Enterprise Desktop Administrator and MCITP Enterprise Support Technician. Now, what the heck's going on here? As you see, this series focuses on the Pro Exam 685. So the idea here, if you are a certification candidate, this is where you fit here. The top tier, cream of the crop, current MCITP desktop support technician title is this. So you'll need to take 680 and 685. Now, I wouldn't call it a misstep exactly, but at one point earlier in 2009, when Microsoft was first developing and releasing these desktop version 7 exams, they published in their objectives that in addition to passing one Microsoft Technologies exam, you also needed to pass one of the Help Desk Institutes or HDI exams. These are soft skill exams for support center folks. There are two in particular. There's the HDI Support Center Analyst Certification requires just one test and the HDI DST Desktop Support Technician. And that caused a lot of furor among many Microsoft professionals because number Number one, they felt a little bit skeptical of HDI certification. Number two, these exams are pretty expensive. They're more expensive than Microsoft exams. Regardless, later in 2009, Microsoft, I don't think they severed their partnership with HDI, but they officially removed these exams from the MCITP Windows 7 Enterprise Support Technician and Desktop Administrator tracks. While the HDI tests are no longer required, I do want to put in a plug for them. SCA or Support Center Analyst is basically your traditional, quote, help desk analyst role, where most of your support is done with the customer or user on the telephone. DST is your walking around tech, where you're doing on-site visits with the user or customer. And they represent very good soft skill sets. Very good indeed. Now, obviously, Microsoft DST skill set is mostly on the technical competency side. There's little to no soft skills. HDI is just the opposite. It's all soft skills skills with no tech. Another reason I mention this is that I've developed courses for CBT Nuggets on both of these exams, so be sure to check those out if you have any interest. Let's finish this introductory nugget with a few words on the 7685 exam specifically. This is a pretty basic bread and butter exam when it gets right down to it. Although there are two registrars in the world, two primary ones anyway, for IT certification exam registration, and those are Pearson View or Prometric. Microsoft has an exclusive arrangement with Prometric, so be sure to register at Prometric.com for your exam. The exam costs just the standard amount that all Microsoft exams do, $125 USD. I do want you to be aware of Microsoft's second shot program. They have this incentive active during most of each calendar year simply because it's been such a success for them. The way the second shot program works is you call or contact Microsoft, specifically their second shop people, tell them which exam 
program you're registering for, for instance 685, and once that's been logged, go ahead and purchase your exam voucher and schedule the exam. Basically, Second Shot is a free insurance, such that if you do not pass the exam on your first attempt, the Second Shot insurance kicks in and they'll pay for your second attempt, you see? So basically, you get two attempts for $125. That effectively turns out to be a 50% discount. So definitely search the web for Microsoft Second Shot. Specifics of the exam, I'm not going to be too specific because, of course, we have our non-disclosure agreement that we're required to attest to prior to actually taking the exam. But as I said, it's pretty standard fare. Approximately 60 multiple choice questions. You'll have plenty of time to complete them. Just about all Microsoft exams have a passing score in the vicinity of 70%, which is pretty fair. And of course, for lovers of instant gratification, you receive your notification whether you've passed or failed immediately. There's no hang time or delay. Alrighty, I think we've covered all of the major points. It's time for us to get our learning on. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Thank you.